Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a live face cam just like this to your streaming YouTube videos um, and this works for your Twitch videos and I think it's the other one Daily Motion you can stream to as well from your PlayStation 4. Um, it's very easy to do, all you need is the PlayStation camera, I mean I'm wearing a headset but the PlayStation camera does have a built in mic as well so you could use that microphone instead. It's important to note at this stage that the PlayStation camera and the PlayStation 4, the base PlayStation 4, doesn't at the moment have the ability to record gameplay with the PlayStation camera to the DVR that's built into the PlayStation 4. So we can't just sit here and record our face and then play that back and then edit it. I will be doing a video how there's a workaround to be able to do that um, over the next uh, couple of weeks but this video is purely about live streaming where you're live streaming to YouTube or Twitch or daily motion so let's have a look and see how you do it. Okay so let's say we want to add our face camera uh, using our PlayStation camera to uh, track mini turbo but it could be any game. So we're kind of in the game now, I'm, I'm in the pause menu. All you need to do is hit the share button on your PlayStation 4 controller and you'll see the share menu come up, comes up. Now, just go down to the bottom and go to sharing and broadcast settings. Obviously, I'm kind of assuming you've already got your PlayStation camera plugged in. And then all we want to do is go down to broadcast settings and then advanced settings and then camera video settings and this is where some of the magic happens so there's a preview of what our uh, viewers are going to see on youtube or twitch or daily motion over on the right hand side and you can see there's me kind of <laughs> very small so what you can do is you could change the position of that there we go stick it down there if you wanted to or wherever you want just put it back up to upper right and then we can choose the size as well you can have wide could have large whoo that's a bit scary isn't it now you may find that the, the, with the positioning of your camera your face isn't in the middle and that's where you can click over to here where it says find face and that will put see it adjusts it so that you're in the middle how good is that now the other thing you might want to do is you may want to um, change the position of your camera depending on how you want to look so for example I'm I'm a bit of a portly gentleman, so I've got a bit of a bit of a fat chin down here, which I don't always like showing off. So what you want to do then is you want to raise your camera up so it's higher, so that you don't get the same um, shadow, really harsh shadow. I've also added there's a light behind me. The idea of that is to give a bit of rim light, but this doesn't really work. But there's a light there, which again helps to light me up, especially if you're playing uh, in a room where it might be a little bit dark. Um, now, you can't change the color balance on the PlayStation camera, which is a bit of a bummer. So I probably look, maybe look a bit blue at the moment. But what you can do is you can change the brightness, the contrast, the transparency. And also, if you look here, you can play around <laughs> with some uh, funny effects. Now, these probably aren't that useful, but, you know, it's good fun to have a play around. But what you can do is if you go to background... You could have a circular cutout, like that. Or an auto cutout, which I guess it follows you around, probably. Yeah, there you go. I guess if you're very active when you're doing something. And you can have chroma key. Now, chroma key is where you put, say, a white background behind you or a green background behind you. And the PlayStation 4 software will... Uh, spot the green and cut all the green out and replace it with the with the gameplay so you just have like a floating head you know like how um, weather presenters have that on the, on the tv um, but probably just to start off with just have a nice square it's nice and simple isn't it but i would wouldn't, uh, I'd probably have it on medium is quite a good size because you don't don't want to be seeing me dominating the screen and that is really it then you can just go to back to the screen and uh here we go. And then go to broadcast with the share button and just broadcast the gameplay. And then we'll be broadcasting the gameplay. The uh, your pick your um, face will be in the top right hand corner or wherever you choose want, choose to have it. And you can share what you're saying and the music and um, with all your viewers. Now at any point as well during the gameplay, 
if you want to go in you can go back in and change some of the settings say you want to make your face bigger or smaller or move it around because of the the HUD on the game but there we go that's how easy it is to add a face cam to your PlayStation 4 with the PlayStation camera and again we're doing this all with the PlayStation 4 we don't have to have another Gato we don't have a laptop we don't have a PC everything is happening on the PlayStation 4 which I think is absolutely amazing and turns it into a real streaming powerhouse for YouTube or, or Twitch anyway that's enough from me please put your questions and comments down below if you like the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon